it's a new day honestly it took me about i would say four hours to get out of the house this morning granted i was supposed to go walk in with a friend of mine and i was kind of like waiting for her to get back to me but she's a nurse assistant surgical assistant and she got called in um today on her day off so that kind of like changed the plans for me a little bit but overall it's good it's gorgeous it's one of those days at the end of the year where you feel like oh my god you know it's super nice out and because of that you want to go outside and do all the things basically outside i'm parked a little crazy i hope the sheriff doesn't turn around and come get me i just saw him drive by anyway i'm going to the post office i'm gonna mail my niece some things and also book an appointment follow-up appointment for gabe's passport we missed the last appointment because we ended up booking it the same day that we booked his um pediatrician's appointment and we missed it because we spent a lot of time at the doctor's office so we're gonna try again and the crazy part is both parents have to be I'll show you guys my face both parents have to be um at the appointment so even though i'm always available it's something that we have to do based on my husband's schedule so i have his schedule with me and i'm gonna go over there and ask him okay are you available on these days or are you available on that day so i'll come back out because the sun over there isn't great yeah this is a much better light so yeah, how's it going? All right, bye. This should be a commercial for Dr. Brown's because this is the only teething toy he's actually had fun with. Everything else he just tosses, but this giraffe, which is from Dr. Brown's, um, he loves. So Dr. Brown's, get at me because my baby, my teething baby loves this teething giraffe. Loves it, loves it, loves it. And of course he has this dinosaur, which is like Leora's dinosaur really, but he just really loves this teething giraffe. So we handled a bit at a post office only for me to find out that there's a different post office close by me So I don't have to drive all the way over here. However, I do like coming here because it's close to my coffee shops It's close to the park Yeah, and it's basically close to like you see there are like lots of cool shops around here and um, there's also like a beauty place that I want to check out and just find out basically um, what they do. I would like to get a facial soon, but overall so far so good. Anyway, so now I am going to take the kiddos in. I always wonder like, should I put Leora in a stroller or let her run around? But when it's just me, honestly, as hard as it is navigating, picking up the stroller, because we do have the upper baby stroller, which is amazing because it's a double stroller. It also can be really stressful, so um, it's like, okay, I have to wait. And I, it usually happens that whenever I say, no, let's not do that today. Instead, let's, um, oh my God, how am I gonna back out of here? Oh, wow, I didn't even think of that. Anyway, I'll think about that when I'm about to leave. Uh, we'll see, anyway. Yeah, I just end up putting her in the stroller because if I leave her to run around, they're just gonna touch everything and break everything and it's just like, makes the whole experience just not worth it and afterwards i'll take her to a park where she can legit go and run out and play you know so all right i'll catch you guys later yeah yeah look at my sandwich Okay, so we just finished eating and um, basically, as you could see, I had to cut my vlog in short because um, 
navigating the two kids and Gabriel was crying and Leora wanted to, you know, jump on the table and we're eating outside. So I was like, all right, this has to stop. Um, something's got to go. Um, also, I was thinking, I know I get most of my views on this channel for my bank leaf unboxings or my luxury shopping, which is fine, you know. Um, I guess there's a demand for that and I've been doing this for over five years. I do get the least amount of views on my day in the live vlogs and honestly, I enjoy doing those vlogs as much as I enjoy doing my unboxing. I think like, of course, my favorite vlog of all time is my birthday haul whenever i go shopping for my birthday and i'm like you know sharing what i got i think that's like my favorite vlog and i get to do it only once a year because you know birthdays come once a year. um but i just don't know I, I don't get as much views in these vlogs and i enjoy doing them so let me know what type of vlogs you like to see at the end of the day i'll take that into consideration you know while trying to figure out my channel growth and what to do and how to move forward um but yeah just let me know because i do enjoy these late day in the life vlogs i watch a lot of them on youtube um it's nice just seeing someone being relatable and someone just like going through the day to days of being a mom and you know working and taking care of life and taking care of like the baby and the careers and all that so let me know let me know if you like this day in the life vlogs and um yeah so we're gonna go to the playground and after that i'm gonna go back home i'm not sure how, how much more vlogging i'll do but i'll pick it up you know whenever i do pick it up eat i actually was gonna make butternut squash soup but I chose to not do that today because it got a little warm. So I'll wait till it gets cold, which should be like this weekend. And um, we are going apple picking this weekend. Last time we went was fun and you guys saw that vlog. But we're going again because apparently in the same location, you take a tractor trailer to go all the way up um, to like the apple farm. And then you go actually go pick the apple. We didn't do that last time. We only went to the pumpkin patch and we are played a lot and it was fun. So like with little kids, you have to break activities. <laughs> into two days or two events sometimes so anyway i'm rambling gabe is hungry as you can see um, no i just fed him so he's tired um usually when i start driving that it would like put him to sleep so i'm gonna start doing that now and i'll catch up with you guys later baby's over here That's Gabriel. Ready? Whoa. <laughs> They'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, Leah, you want to get on this? <laughs> Wee! <laughs> yeah, one of you is going to have to like tilt a little more. Yes, Leora. So we have three hanging ghosts hanging out from our tree. Yep. And we also have some ghosts over here hanging out on the lawn. Leora. Yeah. Yeah. It's so spooky. <laughs> Especially seeing them from like inside the house. <laughs> yeah. So we have this guy on our mailbox. It's just hanging out. Hello. Yeah. Hubby made it home on time for me to go to Zumba. I'm probably going to be about five or six minutes late, but that's okay. I'm going, and that's all that matters. So let's go ahead and get out of here. So what we have here is dinner prep for tonight. I'm making Brussels sprouts and um, sauteed mushrooms and I am going to 
get these pecans toasted and then I'm going to have them, I'm going to put them on top of the steak. We're having steak. So steak with Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, and then I'm going to top the Brussels sprouts with toasted pecans, um, also sprayed with like a little maple syrup. So that should be fun and interesting. No carbs, but we're going to have wine and then maybe we have a dessert. Maybe we'll have a dessert. Yes, Liara. What we do is we forego carbs and then have a dessert. So that way, we're like, okay, it's kind of like, you know, balance people. So as you can tell, my little one is asking for me. It's time to go um, get her situated. I'm going to give her a bath. And then after that, we are going to put her in bed. She's in her own toddler bed now, and she's just enjoying it, really. And um, it's been a transition, I'll tell you that much. But potty training, taking her um, change into a toddler bed, lots of changes but it's our life now it's life as we know it so yeah new day same tired mom here probably got like two hours of sleep and the kids woke up around 5 30 and have been up and it's 10 o'clock and none of them have been able to like go back to sleep we're running late for Liara's play group but whatever whatever <laughs> Up and down, up and down. Up and down. Up and down. <laughs> 